Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have five new Kaiser knives you just have to see and we're gonna start out with this one right here. This is the JG10 version of the Kaiser Porcupine. Yeah, it's the Porcupine and this is in the Laconic series. That's the budget series. So you're gonna get a better deal on these, a little more bang for your buck. And we'll start right out with this. You have a deep carry pocket clip, no mushrooms growing in the shade. It is reversible and if I can get in here and look or try to get you get you a little look here it has very very good grip the excellent grip the g10 was done perfection and look at this we have jimping going all the way around this flipper tab you ready to see this blade pow right in the kisser now look at that that's what i'm talking about Ooh, nice and pokey beautiful worn cliff blade on this and for choking up look at this you could go like this and do your utility cuts. You know I love my utility cutting blades. The ergonomics on this knife are very good. They're very, very good. I have no hot spots on this one at all. It is a liner lock and there is plenty of room for your pass through. It is easy, buttery smooth, easy to disengage. It has a good 50% lockup and for your centering, it is centered maybe, maybe just a hair maybe to the clip side and that's if I'm really being picky. But the deployment on this knife is just, it's enjoyable. I like it. It's a more slim design and I, I tend to like the slim designs like this. And if you take a look on the inside, this side right here does not have a liner. You do have a liner on this side. That's where you get your liner lock. And yeah, th this, this is going to be a good one. I don't have prices on any of these knives. I will have a link where you can check these knives. We're gonna go through five of them really quick, but the action, is just phenomenal. It has Kaiser's typical perfect false shutty action. It is so smooth. These in the Laconic series are 9CR18 MOV blade steel. Look at that. It's the Porcupine. This is a great one. I don't have to, to do a whole lot of complaining or a whole lot of nitpicks. It could use some more room for sharpening choil, things like that. You do have some good jimping up top. I wish there was more, but you know, I always say that. So the ergos are really good. And this is one that probably could be used for self-defense if that's your thing. The grip in the reverse grip is very comfortable. I like this one. There's not a whole lot you have to go overboard. What you see is what you get. If you know about Kaiser and you've seen my videos on Kaiser, Kaiser are good knives. And this is going to be a great one. And I bet you anything, the price is gonna be fantastic. Now you can push button this as just as well as the light switch. It's very easy to deploy. This is a fantastic knife and I can't wait to see how much this doesn't cost. And I'm sure they have several different colors. They usually do. This is one of the colors. It's hard to see jade on the screen, but I'm sure they have black and probably some other colors to choose from. But you know how to click a link. You could go look if you want. You ready for the next one? Let's go. Now this one, this is the Kaiser Doberman. Would you look at it? Just look at it and check out that wood grain look on that G10. That is very, very cool. And this one does, it does have a small little lanyard hole back here. And then check this out. We have a milled pocket clip. And as far as I know, for all intents and purposes, this bad boy is a titanium clip. And there's plenty of room, easy to click in and out of your pocket. You do have a back spacer right here with a little bit of jipping on the back. And this, I think, will make a lot of people happy. Some folks don't like a flipper knife, but this one, it is a very minimal flipper. It's up top. You can't do a push button with this one. It's more made to kind of roll your finger around the top of the knife. And then here's your blade. Oh, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, look at that. You get blade all day long. And you know, this kind of does remind me of the, the front of a Doberman. It has that long, elongated nose with kind of a little bit of a hump up here. See, the minute Dobermans, they look just like that. But boy, I haven't seen a Doberman with a blade like that. Mamacita, that's 154 CM blade steel, baby. And this is a liner lock. It has good lockup. And how is our centering? It is centered and the action, just like you would expect from a Kaiser. Drop shetty action, look at this. It works so well. And the thumb studs, you have ample room to get behind the thumb studs. You can reverse flick this like a dream, like a dream. It's very easy to reverse flick. The thumb studs are just fantastic. They're placed fantastically. And then look at this, jimping. You have jimping for days. And let me go ahead and just segue into the ergonomics. Oh yeah. They're really, really good. If you're holding back, <laughs> don't hold back. If you're back here like this, look at that. 
that creates a thumb ramp. It's very, very nice. There's no hot spot at all. And then if you want to choke up and really get in it to win it, look at this. That's how you do jimping, ladies and gentlemen. It's jimping done well in a completely full-size ramp for my thumb. I love it. Love how that just fits so well for doing slicing. And this is a very solid, solid feeling knife. I like how it feels. I like the look. I like that it's different. I like that you have different options for choking up, choking back. And then for sharpening, there's not a whole lot of room. You do have some sort of sharpening choil right there. You can look at that and take it or leave it however you would like. But wow, it is so smooth. Now, wait till you see this. If you like the Doberman and you want to upgrade and go a little fancy, a little Mr. Fancy Pants, check this bad boy out. You can go with a little bit of stonewashed titanium, baby. Look at this. Stonewashed titanium. It has that titanium pocket clip. And uh, you know what? It looks like the exact, yep, yeah, same titanium clip as the 154. I wouldn't call this a budget version. I'd call this regular, whereas this is going to be in the Bladesmith series. You get S35VN blade steel, baby. Everything else I told you is virtually the same. The jimping feels, you know what? I think the jimping on this one feels just even a little bit better. <laughs> or is it because I know it's S35VN? Everything else is virtually the same, except for you get these titanium scales. You have a titanium backspacer, nice amount of grippage, jimpage, and you do still retain your lanyard hole. So you get all of the things that you enjoy with the other one. The only question, the only thing I wonder is if this is a reversible clip. It appears as if it may be. It looks like it would fit. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm sure it will say in the description. Of course, I will have links where you can go check all of these out and it'll tell you all the goodies. But the ergos on this one feel fantastic. This one's a little bit heavier. This one comes in at 5.89 ounces. This one is a tad lighter. Not by a lot, but definitely an increase in weight. There is no weight relief on the inside. It's just liners and then solid titanium alloy on the outside. But that is the... Fancy version of the Kaiser Doberman, the Bladesmith series. And man, it is, it's a good one. I really do like it. I like that it's different. I like the look of it. I like the feel. I like how it flows. These are very, very nice. Now let's move these over here and I'll kind of get back into the Laconic series. This is the Kaiser Submarine. Yeah, you hurt me. It's the Submarine. And look at that. The texture on this G10, oh, their Laconic series, whatever they're doing with the G10, it's fantastic. It feels so good. It's so grippy. This one has a deep carry pocket clip, no screws sticking out. It has flat screws and it has a reversible clip. And can we use this fuller? Oh, the, the fuller's a little slow. Let me try that. Let me try it with the actual thumb hole. Ah, that's what we're talking about right there. Oh yeah. This... Mm, good action. This is 9CR18 MOV blade steel, and you know, it does look like a submarine. It's no wonder they got the name submarine. Now, the pass-through on this one, it doesn't have a ton, but it works equally as well as the previous ones I've showed you. It is like butter. It is easy to disengage. There's no hate right there for my thumb at all. It has good lockup. Is it a centered? Yes, it is centered. And you know what? This is a pretty cool knife. Uh, this is more of a medium-sized knife when I have a full grip on it. Um, I would say if you have extra large hand, this might be a tad small for you. But if you wanted to have this in the reverse grip, you do have the added benefit of having that flipper tab to keep you from losing your grip when you're getting into some bags of mulch. Now, here's one thing I will mention is that you do have quite the pocket pecker if that's a thing that you're concerned about. There is no jimping on this flipper, but the push button is lightning fast. The pullback or the light switch is lightning fast. The action on this thing is just superb. It's 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 Kaiser action. So far, we're, we're total wins. We're four out of four. And by the way, the next knife I'm getting ready to show you here in just a minute will blow your mind. It is nuts. But this one right here is one of their Laconic series. You just can't go wrong. The action, let's check out the fit. Left and right, up and down. So laterally, vertically, there is no blade play. This is a fantastic knife. What you see is what you get. Great grip. I don't have any hot spots. It has a nice thumb ramp. So you can do some push cutting and your hand is just locked into place. And that fuller is usable. I mean, you could do the slow roll, very easy with it. I would say you definitely want to use the hole for doing the reverse flick and your thumb. Look at that. Sometimes you get a hole like this and it doesn't work well. This thumb hole, 
serves its purpose. It is done very well. It, it's either direction you want to use it works so nice. That fuller, you can reverse flick off the fuller just as long as you have a good grip with your, with your uh, middle finger. See there, I slid off because I have a little bit of a fingernail. If you don't have fingernails, it'd probably be easier to do the reverse flick off that fuller, but I'm gonna use the hole. But there you go, that is the Kaiser Submarine. Now, let's get out la creme de la creme. This, besides being absolutely fantastic and wicked and different looking, is the Kaiser Huntsman. Oh yeah. Check that out. A little bit of titanium action going with a large carbon fiber inlay, and the inlay was done so very well. It is nice and clean, and then look back here. We have a frag pattern titanium backspacer. I mean, that's a, at least a half-length backspacer. You have a large titanium pocket clip. The pocket clip doesn't have a lot of ramp. It does work. I would prefer a little more of a ramp back there, but that is hardly a takeaway from this knife. You ready to see this blade? Oh, right in the kisser. Oh, oh, are you looking at this? Are you looking at that? Now, you tell me, can you not tell why this is called the Huntsman? I can so see using this knife in the field for skinning. This front forward section, okay, what would I call this? I would say this is kind of a recurve Tanto. <laughs> it's the recurve Tanto Huntsman, but this forward section. this It's a dual grind. I'm definitely a dual grind, but this right here would be so easy for doing skinning. Vertically, like this, if you have you know something hanging from a tree, that is going to be so right. You can see where your finger naturally is resting on the spine, and it's gonna make it so easy for doing skinning cuts like that. Oh my goodness. And then you have this wicked, wicked recurve. This is S35 VN blade steel, baby. That's a wicked recurve. Everything you cut, whether you're pulling, oh, and by, did I mention that the ergonomics are fantastic on this knife? Whether you're push or pull cutting, everything is gonna be drawn into the center of the knife. You're not gonna get slide offs. Oh my goodness gracious, this knife is fantastic. Let me go from one end down to the other and give you a nice look. By the way, this uh, this area right up here, oh, 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 I'm getting, <laughs> getting sidetracked. Uh, did I mention that it's a nested frame lock and nested frame locks are my favorite? Now there's one thing else to mention about this being a nested frame lock. There is no pass through, no discernible pass through, but you do have easy access. Just because there's enough room on the inside here, you can see where they've chamfered just the edges of the inside of that lock bar. It's not difficult to grab a hold of. So I'm not having to like super commit my thumb or push my thumb in there. You can do it up high or you can do it down low. So that is buttery, and I mean buttery smooth. It is, oh, and it's drop shutty. It is centered, It had you can see that's a very robust tip. It has robust blade steel, but it I keep wanting to flip. I'm so used to flipper tabs. It comes down to a nice edge. Whoo, behind the edge is super slicey. It's a little tougher up here. This is a fantastic, fantastic looking knife. And being a knife collector, I love it when something different comes through like this. Of course, it is a captive pivot. And yes, it does have ceramic ball bearings. And that's my favorite. Nested frame locks are my favorite. There's no joke. And you definitely don't want to have your finger in the way when you're closing this knife because it is coming down and it's not stopping. Here is your, re oh my goodness. The reverse flick is so good. That fuller is done absolutely perfect. It's not aggressive, but it's not smooth where you're going to miss it. And you can use your thumb. I like it when you have a fuller that actually you can get your thumb in there and use your thumb if you don't want to use the thumb studs are on there. So I would call it kind of multiple deployment since you have those options. And of course, slow roll if you want to do a little swing swing and you do have this edge right here so it's not just a skinny knife this is going to be a multi-purpose knife one it's a it's amazing to look at two it's multiple purpose this is going to be good for cutting rope cutting anything and you do have this tanto style edge or tip right here that's going to be good you could do your cuts you could do utility cuts with that because it comes down to a nice definitive point. So that is very, very cool. So there's the Kaiser Porcupine, the Kaiser Doberman, the Kaiser Submarine, and the Kaiser Huntsman. I hope you enjoyed checking all these out with me. Definitely leave a comment, hit that thumbs up button, show some support for Bees Blades, and come join us on the live streams on Friday nights. And go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that too. And remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.